I would like to preach to you from the title of a message, Keep the Fire Burning. Bible reading comes from Leviticus chapter 6, verse 9, 12, and 13. It says, Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. It is the burnt offering because of the burning upon the altar all night until the morning. And the fire of the altar shall be burning in it. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Also, in Luke chapter 24, verse 32, it says, And they said one to another, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us by the way and while he opened to us the scriptures? The last place for a text is Psalms 39.3, where the psalmist David said, My heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned. We have to keep this fire burning. If you've been saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, time may pass, problems may come, clouds may come, storms may rise and come and go, people may come and go. But the bottom line is, is we are responsible for the zeal, the fellowship, and the fire burning in our life for God. We're responsible for it. Only while they talked with Jesus and he opened up the scriptures, did the fire burn. Only while the burnt offering was on the altar did the fire of the altar burn in the sacrifice. And only while David mused, that means meditate and think upon God, did the fire burn. If you stop, the fire goes out. If you stop praying, if you stop reading the Bible, if you stop believing, if you allow your faith to grow cold and your love to grow cold, your fire will go out. We have to keep this fire burning. Did you know that you can let a fire go out? You can let it go out by doing absolutely nothing. If you withhold oxygen and if you withhold fuel from fire, those elements right there is what keeps a fire burning. But if you withhold those elements, then the fire can go out. And there's certain elements in this Christian life that if you withhold them, you don't feed that fire. You don't pray. You don't spend time with God. You don't spend time believing.